Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. I'm so glad you could join me for class today. Today's class is going to be focused on our feet and legs, which is going to include stability, strength, and stretch. I'd like to thank my YouTube subscribers and members and my Patreon supporters. Thank you all for your support. If you have not already, please do so. Subscribe to my page. And if you like this class, hit the thumbs up icon and make comments below. If you have any class requests, please include those as well. All right, we're gonna start today on our backs in butterfly position. So we're gonna get into the legs right away. So in butterfly position, you're just gonna bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. So when you're ready, lie down. Bring one hand to your low belly. Bring one hand to your heart center, just right in the middle of your chest. Let your elbows fall down to the floor. Close your eyes or find a nice soft gaze upwards. Breathe in through your nose and hold it at the top. Let it go through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. As you settle into this time and this space, just bring deeper awareness to the pace of your breath. With your hands on your body as you breathe in, you can feel your hand lift as your belly fills with air, moving up, expanding your rib cage and lifting your chest as you fill your lungs. As you exhale, you'll feel that happen in reverse. Your chest is going to release down toward the floor, rib cage will relax and your low belly will release all of its air as you empty out at the very bottom. Continue breathing this way, focusing on belly, ribs, chest, and then releasing chest, ribs, belly. And maybe as you settle into this posture, you can bring your heels a little bit closer to your hips. Let your knees relax down toward the floor. So you're just letting gravity do its work to open up your inner thighs and stretch your hips and low back. And we'll take three more breaths here. We're gonna to begin to move the body, but continue with your deep breathing. So you can bring your knees together either with the assistance of your hands or without. You can keep your left foot flat on the floor or extend your left leg long. Extend your right foot up toward the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your right thigh. All right, this is our first stretch. So if your leg is not all the way extended, that's fine. If it's not, if your foot isn't stamping the ceiling, that's fine too. We're just moving in that direction. So you're gonna feel it along the entire length of the back of your leg. From here, let's warm up the foot and the ankle so you can point and flex your right foot. Maybe draw circles in one direction and in the other direction, just kind of loosening up here. Now walk your hands up the back of your leg, maybe toward your calf, and then lift your shoulders up off the floor. Bring your forehead toward your knee, your knee toward your forehead. So we're just deepening into the stretch here. Lower your shoulders back down onto the floor, bend your leg, take your hands and interlace your fingers around your shin. 
and then draw your right knee toward the right and up toward your right shoulder. Now flex both of your feet back toward both knees. So compressing your right hip here. You're continuing to breathe deeply into your belly. And as you exhale, we're gonna take this into a twist. So you can just relax the grip on your right knee and bring it to the left. Extend your right arm to the right, either goal post or capital T, whichever is more comfortable. You can take your left hand on top of your right knee. You're gazing toward the right. Breathe in deep here. And out, listen to the sound of the howler monkeys in the background. And back to center. You can plant your right foot flat to the floor or extend your right leg long on your mat. So we're doing the same thing on the other side. Extend your left foot up toward the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your left thigh. And again, your leg might be really bent right now. That's totally fine. We're just working in that direction of lengthening the hamstring, the back of your left leg. And now let's warm up the foot and the ankle. So you can point and flex your left foot. You can draw circles in one direction and in the other direction. And then begin to walk your hands up the back of your left leg. So holding onto the back of your left calf, bringing your forehead toward your knee. So you're just deepening into this stretch in the back of your left leg. And then you can lower your shoulders back down onto the floor and bend your left leg so that your leg is at a 90 degree angle and bring your left knee to the right. So twisting in the opposite direction, extend your left arm to either goalpost or capital T. And you can take your right hand on top of your left knee. and bring your left leg back towards center. Interlace your hands around your left shin. Bring your left knee toward the left, up toward your left shoulder. You can flex both feet back toward both knees, drawing your elbows in and down. All right, now just relax the grip on your left knee and bring your right knee to meet your left. So bring your toes, heels, and knees side by side. You can hold onto your knees with your hands or you can wrap your arms around your legs for knees to chest pose. So in this posture, you're compressing both hips and you're lengthening your spine. So working toward a nice flat back on your mat. It's okay if it's not there yet. We're just working in that direction. All right, relax the grip on your knees, but continue to hold on to them and just roll the length of your spine three times. So just kind of massaging out your spine. And on the third, you're gonna come all the way up to seated, cross over your ankles and make your way onto your knees. Let's just take three cats and cows here, warming up the spine. So drop your belly, lift your hips and lift the crown of your head. Round your spine, look toward navel center. And again, breathe into cow pose, breathe out to cat. Breathe in cow, and out to cat. Come back to tabletop position. Extend your left leg straight out behind you. Flex your foot so your toes are pointing down towards your mat and bring your foot to the right. Keep your toes tucked under as you plant your foot down on the floor. Now look to the right, peeking out toward your left foot, getting a stretch along the left side of your body. And come back to center. Lift your left foot up. So it's your left leg is parallel to your mat. Extend your right arm forward so you're in spinal balance. Engage through your core. 
and let's stretch the front of the leg by bending your left leg. Reach your right hand around for your left foot, kick into your foot, lift through the crown of your head. Release back to spinal balance and back to tabletop. Extend your right leg straight out behind you. Flex your foot so your toes are pointing down at your mat. Now bring your right foot to the left. Tuck your toes, plant it on the floor, and then look to the left, peeking out toward your right foot. Feel the stretch along the right side of your body. And come back to center. Extend your right leg straight out behind you. Now extend your left arm forward. So you're in spinal balance. One nice long line. Now let's stretch the front of the right leg. So bend your right leg. Take your left hand, reach around for the inside of your right foot. Go ahead and kick your foot into your hand as you lift through the crown of your head, lifting your chin up off of your chest. Return to spinal balance. Return to tabletop position. All right, from here, tuck all 10 toes under. Walk your hands back. Okay, starting from the feet, from the toes up. So this is called toes pose. It can be a very intense pose, but very good for your feet. So make sure that each toe is making contact with your mat. We're trying to, so you can kind of spread your toes. And then you're gonna take your hands onto your thighs. Try to sit up straight so that your head is in line with your tailbone and you're sitting your weight back on your heels and you're breathing because it's intense. So you're opening up your feet, you're opening up your toes, you're gaining flexibility here, gaining mobility. Breathe. And of course, if you need to kind of back out of the pose, that's fine. And then just come back to it when you're ready. You won't be here too much longer. Ramp up your breath if you're feeling the intensity. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna release from toes pose. Bring your hands back to your mat so you're in a tabletop position. Uncurl your toes, lay your, the tops of your feet flat on the floor and then maybe shake them out, tap them on the floor. All right, now we're gonna stretch the tops of the feet. So that was the bottoms of the feet, here go the tops of the feet. So now you're, the tops of your feet are flat to the floor. Sit back on your heels once again. And then from here, if your ankles are healthy, start to rock your knees up off of the floor. Your hands are supporting you out behind you. Knees are lifting. Should feel a stretch in the tops of your feet, your ankles, all the way up your shins to your knees. I wonder where you feel it the most. I feel it in the tops of my ankles because this is a very, um, interesting position that we do not do often or ever. All right, now go ahead and come back down onto your shins. Make your way back to tabletop position. And you might not wanna do this, but let's do it. You're gonna tuck your toes under and make your way to downward facing dog. So lift your knees up off the floor, press your hips up toward the ceiling as your heels release down towards your mat. So great stretch here for your calves, your hamstrings, your ankles are in flexion. So just actively press your heels down toward your mat. So gazing back, your heels should not be visible. They're disappearing behind your toes. So that means that your heels are in line with your toes. Take one more breath here. All right, let's open up the front of the hip. So bring your left foot a little bit closer to center. Lift your right leg up so it's in three-legged dog. Now open your hips. You're gonna stack your right hip on top of your left, and then you can just let your foot fall toward the floor.
try to keep your shoulders level. Alrighty, now straighten your right leg, level out your hips. Bring your right foot between your hands so you're in a low lunge position. And then drop your left knee down toward the floor. Begin to straighten your right leg. So this is half splits pose. We'll work our way toward full splits pose toward the end of class, but we've gotta open up the backs of the legs first and the hips. Other variation for half splits pose is you can sit your hips back on your heel and fold over your right leg. Wherever you are, we're gonna meet back in a low lunge position. So you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift your back knee up off the floor and step your right foot to meet your left. Keep your legs bent. Come into ragdoll, so draping your torso over your thighs, taking opposite hand toward opposite elbow, maybe swaying side to side. The crown of your head is hanging toward your mat. So there's no tension in your neck. Once again, just letting gravity do its work to lengthen the backside of your body. All right, release your hands down onto your mat or in the direction of your mat. Begin to straighten your legs and then roll all the way up to standing nice and slow. All right, from here, come into mountain pose. So spread your toes nice and wide. This is your foundation. So be really conscientious of each toe making contact with your mat. Your heels are on your mat. Your quadriceps, the fronts of your legs are engaged. So you're lifting your kneecaps up. Roll your shoulders down away from your ears. Palms face out. On your next breath in, lift your arms up overhead for tall mountain pose. Once your hands are up overhead, begin to lift your heels up off of your mat. So building strength here in the bottoms of your feet. And balance as you focus your concentration down at the floor in front of you. Now le release your heels to, to your mat and sweep your arms down alongside your body. On your next breath in, sweep your arms up overhead, connect the palms of your hands above your head and bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, sit your hips back into chair pose. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, straighten your legs and begin to forward fold over your legs. So this time we're coming into standing forward fold. Once again, your head is just dangling down toward the floor. So your gaze should be at the back of your mat. Feel the stretch along the back side of your legs. On your next breath in, come up to a halfway lift. So lengthen your spine, nice flat back and then come back to standing forward fold, maybe a little bit deeper this time. Plant your hands and step back to a high plank pose. Now pause in high plank pose. In high plank pose, cross your left ankle over your right. So you're just on your right foot and begin to rock backwards and forwards on your right foot. So your shoulders are shifting in front of your wrists. Obviously you're getting a good, nice core strengthener, but you're also loosening up and strengthening at the same time your right foot. Now let's switch sides, uncross your ankles and cross your right ankle over your left. Begin to rock forward and backward. And just one more time, forward and backward. Uncross your ankles and lower all the way down onto your stomach. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Breathe in, come into a low lift cobra. And breathe out, release down onto your belly. Keep your hands where they are. Press up either through tabletop or high plank and press up 
back to downward facing dog. Now we're gonna go right to the other side. So bring your right foot a little bit closer towards center. Extend your left leg up behind you for three-legged dog. Now open your hips. You're gonna stack your left hip on top of your right. And now you can bend your leg, let your foot hang toward the floor. Try to keep your shoulders in one line so your left shoulder isn't hiking up. You're not twisting your whole chest, really focusing on the front of your right, or sorry, your left hip and your left quadricep here. All right, now you're going to level out your hips, straighten your left leg, bring your left foot between your hands, release your left knee down onto your mat for half splits pose. So the top of your right foot comes to the floor, you straighten your left leg. You can fold over your left leg in this position, or you can take the other variation, bringing your hip back towards your right heel and folding over your left leg from here. Whichever variation you're in, let's all meet back at low lunge. So you're gonna lift your knee, tuck your toes, and then step your right foot to meet your left. And this time, right away, we're gonna come to standing forward fold. We're gonna take a variation of standing forward fold called gorilla pose. So you're gonna bring your hands, tops of your hands to the floor and you're gonna slide your hands underneath your feet so that your toes are at your wrist crease. Now put your weight into your hands, getting a nice stretch for your forearms and an increased stretch to the backs of your legs. All right, release your hands out from underneath your feet. Come up to a halfway lift, lengthening your spine. Bring your arms out to the side so they're in a capital T position on your next breath in. Come up to tall mountain and right away as you reach your arms up overhead, lift your heels up off of the floor and balance here. Okay, now we're gonna take a challenge. Bring your hands to your heart, keep your heels lifted and come into balanced chair. Howler monkeys. All right, we've got this. See if you can lift your heels a little bit higher. Really getting into the calf muscles here, the higher you lift your heels. Your gaze is really important for your balance, so keep your gaze steady down at the floor, out in front of you. And you're gonna release your heels back down to the floor so you're sitting in chair. And then rise up to tall mountain come back into standing forward fold. Each time standing forward fold, maybe you get a little bit deeper into it, halfway lift, forward fold. Now step back to high plank pose. We're gonna take our first chaturanga of class. So you can shift forward onto your toes, lower halfway down, flip over to the tops of your feet, press up to upward facing dog, and press back to downward facing dog. All right, take another full breath and downward facing dog. The next time you look at your screen, I'm gonna be in a whole new outfit. <laughs> so don't be shocked. We had to stop this class because of the construction all around our house. So this is a couple days later and we're just gonna pick up where I left off, but it's gonna be continuous for you. All right, so on your next breath and lift your right leg up, step forward to low lunge. One up to crescent lunge. We're gonna take three cactus dips. So dip your left knee down, cactus your arms. Press up, so we're building strength here in the left leg. Do it again. Dip down, cactus your arms. Reach up, crescent lunge. Last time, press that back leg straight as you reach up, and then come into warrior two. One full breath here. Okay, five-pointed star, right to prayer squat. Bring your hands to your heart, squat down. On your next breath in, lift your left heel up and hold it for three, two, squeeze that calf, and one. Place your left heel down, lift your right heel up off your mat and hold it for three, and two, and one. Place your right heel down, so we're building strength in our calves. Now lift both heels up, 
hold it for three and we're increasing our balance and one place your heels down rise back up to star and then take your heels behind your toes and come all the way to standing straddle splits on your next breath in come up to a halfway lift sweep your arms off to a capital T position palms facing down take one more full breath here Building strength in the back side of our body. Flexibility in our hamstrings rise up to five pointed star. Return to prayer squat so your toes face out, your heels come in, bring your hands to your heart. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands to your knees, thumbs are on the inside, and you're gonna dip your left shoulder in, look to the front of your mat. Come back through center, dip your right shoulder in, look to the back of your mat. Come back to center, bring your shoulders back over your hips as you straighten up and bring your hands to your heart and then come back up to five pointed star. Make your way back to warrior two facing the front of your mat. Come into reverse triangle, slide your left hand down your left leg, straighten your right leg and then make your way to triangle pose, bringing your right hand to your shin or the floor, bringing your left arm up toward the ceiling. You can gaze down or gaze up at your left fingertips, opening the front side of your body, stretching your inner thighs and your hamstrings. It's just a great stretch overall, lengthening your spine. As you breathe in, you're gonna return to re um, reverse triangle, reaching your arm all the way up and back, stretching through your right side. Make your way to low lunge, just rotating your arms all the way down. And then from here, make your way to lounging lizard. So you're gonna keep your left hand on your mat, bring your right toes to the right, roll onto the outer edge of your left foot, reach your right arm back. You can look back toward your left foot. Now from here, you're gonna rotate around into skandasana on your right leg. So this is a side lunge. You can bring your hands to your heart if you choose, or you can have them on the floor for balance. We're just gonna take one more breath here in our side lunge. Bring your hands back to the mat if they're not there already and rotate your way to the front so you're in low lunge. Step back to high plank pose, lower chaturanga or to the floor come on to the tops of your feet press up to upward facing dog and press back to downward facing dog complete your exhale now lift your left leg up step your left foot forward come into low lunge on your breath in come up to crescent lunge so we're pre preparing for those knee dips. So you're gonna bring your right knee to hover over the floor as you cactus your arms. So you're building strength in your leg, your right leg, stretch up crescent, dip down, stretch up and dip down. Press back up and then make your way to warrior two. Hold here for a full round of breath. Toes out, heels in, 45 degree angle for five pointed star. Circle your arms down and around, come into prayer squat. Lift both heels up off the floor and hold for three, two, one. Slowest countdown ever, release your heels to the floor. Come on up to five pointed star. Make your way back to warrior two. Reverse triangle, straighten your left leg, flip your palm up and take your right hand, slide it down the back of your right leg or the side of your right leg and triangle pose. Bring your arms parallel to the mat, reach forward, left hand to your shin or the floor or a block, right arm up, maybe look up. The side of your body, or the front of your body is facing the side. Reverse triangle. 
Slide your right hand down your right leg. Reach up and back. Low lunge, circle your arms down. Plant them on the mat. And lounging lizard, come on to the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your left hand back towards your right foot. And you're gonna just slide around so you're in a side lunge on your left leg. Skandasana. Hands on the floor or at heart center. Breathe here as you balance and stretch the bottom of your left foot, stretch the inside of your right thigh. Complete one more round of breath. Bring your hands down onto your mat if they're not already and rotate so you're facing the front of your mat and you're in low lunge and step back to high plank, lower chaturanga, back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Lift your right leg up. Step forward, low lunge. Crescent lunge. We're just gonna do one dip. Cactus your arms, dip your knee down. Press back up, crescent lunge. Make your way to airplane pose. Now listen to this transition. From airplane, you're gonna find airplane pose first or you can find airplane lunge and then you're gonna continue to travel so lift your left leg a little bit higher. Your arms are still off your mat if you can. Otherwise, you can bring them down onto your mat. So you're in standing splits pose. So balancing here on your right leg. And then bring your hands to your mat if they're not already. We're gonna do three Jiva squats. So building strength here. Bring your left knee behind your right. Squat down into a little ball. Press it up, standing splits, squeeze, press it up. Last time, press up to standing splits, step back to low lunge, rise up to crescent lunge, and release to warrior two. Left arm circles down and around, and return to crescent lunge. Right arm circles back and around, come into twisting crescent, both arms parallel to your mat. Right arm travels down and around to meet your left. Come all the way up to crescent lunge and make your way to low lunge. Whoa, that right leg might be on fire. Mine is. Come back to high plank and lower to chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Alrighty, pedal your legs. Release that right leg. That was a lot of work on the right leg. How you build strength while building flexibility and balance. Just bonus, bonus all around. Lift your left leg up. We're gonna do the other side now. Step forward, low lunge. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Cactus dip, breathe out. Crescent lunge. Airplane or airplane lunge. Once you find airplane, continue to travel. Forward, slow. Notice your foot making all those little micro adjustments to keep you in balance as your right leg lifts a little bit higher. And then if your hands are off the floor, bring them to the floor. We're all in standing splits now. Jeeva squat times three. So right knee behind your left, squat down. Squeeze as tight as you can. Press up, go two. Press up one last time. Now step back, low lunge with control. Feel your left leg rise up to crescent. Twisting crescent, right arm forward, left arm back. Left arm continues to travel down and around to meet your right. Come back up to crescent. Make your way to low lunge. Step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Press up to upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. 
Look towards your hands. Step walk or float your feet to the outside of your hands. Come into Malasana. Elbows to your knees, if that's accessible. Hands to your hearts, sitting up tall through the crown of your head. Okay, we're gonna continue to build heat in the legs. So you're going to lift your hips up so that they're at the height of your knees and your, flat is, your back is flat, looking down at the floor. And then release to squat, lift, release. Keep going. Just two more. Lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. And back to squat. Bring your hands behind you. Sit down and lift your legs up so that you're in boat pose. Okay, so have your legs bent in this variation of boat and then try, see if you can, lift your legs up to straight and bend. Straight, bend. Keep going. Do you feel your quads? I'm getting rained on now. If it's not construction, it's rain. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, now take your hands to your knees, roll back, come forward, cross over your ankles, press back to high plank pose, lower down, upward dog, and make your way back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg high, bring your right foot to the outside, of your right hand, set it down for wide-legged low lunge. Make your way to lounging lizard, reach your right arm back, circle around skandhasana on your right leg, building strength and control and balance in the legs. Come to skandhasana at the back of your mat. Come to low lunge at the front of your mat. Come to side plank. Bringing your right foot on top of your left, lift your right arm up. Take one more breath here. Exhale through Chaturanga. Press up to Upward Facing Dog, back to Downward Facing Dog. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand for wide-legged low lunge. Make your way to Lounging Lizard left hand reaching back toward your right foot. Rotate to Skandasana on your left leg. Maybe your hands are at heart center. And then make your way to Skandasana at the back of your mat. Make your way to low lunge at the front of your mat. Step back, high plank, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together to touch. Walk your hands back towards your feet. So you're basically in a standing forward fold with your feet together. Separate your knees, lift your heels and come down into this variation of squat. Right, so your knees are wide. The balls of your feet and your heels are touching. Maybe your hands come to your heart. Balancing, building strength in the feet, the toes, flexibility in the legs, integrity in the spine. So you're nice and lifted up. Even if your hands are on the floor, keep your spine nice and long. So don't round forward, okay? Now, if your hands are at heart center, take them to the floor. You're gonna keep your heels lifted and come up into standing forward fold with lifted heels. Keep your heels lifted and then squat down, heels lifted. Come into ch balanced chair. Lift your arms, sink your hips back. Okay. No one said this is easy, so if you feel challenged, good, you should. <laughs> Alrighty, airplane chair with your heels lifted. Sweep your arms back. 
All right, now you're gonna take your left heel to your mat as you lift your right leg up to standing staff. See if you can straighten your leg. Just try it this time if you haven't tried it before. Feel your quadricep working and your hamstring stretching. Bring your right foot to your left inner thigh or calf or floor for tree pose. Bring your hands to your heart or you can reach them up or any other arm variation is welcome. Hold here. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Arms down alongside your body, and then just sweep your arms back up. Lift your left leg up off the floor. You can have your leg bent, or see if you can try and straighten your left leg. Wherever it ends up, just feel your quadricep, the top of your left leg working to extend your leg, and the bottom of your leg stretching. Now bring your left foot to tree pose. And your hands to heart center or your arms extended up in front of, or up above you. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Send your arms alongside your body. Mountain pose. Reach your arms up. And exhale, standing forward, fold, hinging from your hips. Come all the way down. Halfway lift. Walk your hands forward so you're in high plank. And lower chaturanga. back to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high and step forward to half pigeon pose. Releasing your shin onto your mat, extend your, extending your left leg long out behind you, stretch up and release. Complete your exhale here. Make your way back up onto your hands and then just sweep your left leg out to an angle. Right foot's at your left inner thigh. Bring your left hand toward your right knee and reach your right arm up and over toward your left toes. Bring a nice side bend here. Release from your side bend. And you're gonna make your way back to downward facing dog. So you're just gonna bring your left foot in, cross over your ankles and step back to down dog. On your next breath in, lift your left leg up, preparing for half pigeon on the other side. You can set your shin down. Stretch up as you breathe in. Release as you breathe out. Complete your exhale. Come back up onto your hands. Sweep your right leg around. So the sole of your left foot is at your right inner thigh. Bring your right hand to your left knee in that direction. Reach your left arm up and over, reaching toward your right toes. Nice side bend here and a stretch for your low back and your hamstring on your right leg.
release from your side bend. And then bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Your knees are facing up. Extend your arms forward and roll down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and then separate your knees and feet for happy baby pose. Take hold of whatever is accessible to you and maybe rock side to side. So you're stretching your inner thighs, massaging out your low back. And make your way back to a little ball. Bring your forehead toward your knees, squeeze in nice and tight, and then release to Shavasana. Send your legs long, your arms long. I'm gonna leave you here in Shavasana with a little bit of music. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside and get our cameras out of the rain. So thank you so much for joining me for class today. And today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart, from my heart to yours, namaste.